<laughs> Welcome to another episode of Skincare for Characters. Today we're gonna to be doing a skincare routine for Tulip O'Hare from the TV show Preacher. So if you know Tulip from the comic book Preacher, she is a little bit different on the TV show. They've changed her backstory a little bit, but one thing that has remained the same is she still has a lot of rough edges, she's still a badass, and she still has a sort of not sort of, she has a very sassy, in your face kind of personality. So for her skincare routine as a whole, I think the theme is going to be to soften her edges and to help her chill out just a little bit. So I've decided to craft a routine for her based on flowers, yes, because her name is Tulip, and because I think that it'll play nicely with the idea of helping soften her up a little bit so she's not quite so tough, because every lady needs just a little bit of softness to her personality, at least that's my opinion. And so first up, Tulip is going to need a cleansing product, and so the one that I'm gonna recommend for her is a lavender-based cleansing balm by the company Badger Face Beauty, and it is the calming cleansing balm with lavender and chamomile. So the reason that I'm recommending this there's actually two reasons so number one if you're not familiar with badger face beauty their marketing department is out of control irreverent in your face like sass doesn't even begin to cover it i think it's so classically tulip that i think it just completely fits her personality in fact let me just go ahead and read some of the highlights of what they say in their marketing copy about this cleansing balm so they say does your face need an exorcism is there nasty shit dwelling down in your pores trying to raise hell why not introduce it to this shit? So, yeah, I mean, that, that gives you, I mean, that's, that's tulip all over, right? Plus, the fact that it mentions right there in the marketing copy exorcisms, like, what is tulip dealing with if not otherworldly guests that she'd rather not be dealing with, right? She's got Cassidy's affections, which I know he's not a demon, but he is a vampire, and I'm not really sure she wants that, so if she could sort of excise that from her life, that'd be good. Plus, she's got the killer, the saint killer guy trying to kill them. They've got angels after them trying to kill them. Like all of these otherworldly, heavenly, celestial bodies that are after them. She could use anything that mentions exorcism, I think is a good thing. So Tulip, check out this lavender cleansing balm. Plus it's got lavender and chamomile in it. Like it's gonna chill you out and you need to be chilled out girl, just a little. You do. Okay, so next up, she's going to need a hydrating product. She does live in Texas and it is hot here and it is humid and you're gonna sweat a lot and so she's gonna be losing a lot of hydration. So I'm gonna recommend to her my personal favorite hydrating toner of all time, the Wamiso Organic Flowers Deep Rich Toner. I think this is the best toner on the market. I really do. It's got a wonderful, bouncy, silky texture. I know I describe it as bouncy and if you don't, if you haven't experienced it for yourself, you're like, what does that even mean? But it's it's just it's just bouncy I mean I don't know what else to tell you it just that's what it that's what it is and it just it feels great on the skin um, and it's got a wonderful slip to it so that as you're applying it to your skin you don't your fingers you know don't like do this stuttering thing no I just think it's a wonderful product it can be it is a little bit expensive so it's it's somewhere between the 30 and 40 dollar mark so I know that's not reasonable for a lot of budgets but if it is in your budget and it's appropriate for all skin types, so if that sounds appealing to you, definitely give that a chance. Um, and Tulip, I think that you'll love it. It's got flowers in it, fermented flowers, which is going to be lovely on your skin. Plus, I think you're going to enjoy using it, and I think it will be relaxing for you. Okay, and, okay. And no skincare regimen would be complete without some kind of serum. And so for Tulip, I am recommending a Korean brand, another one, uh, called Blossom Jeju. And they have this wonderful serum called the Pink Sumbi Oil Serum. It smells delicious and it really gives your skin this wonderful glow to it but it can be a little bit sticky. It does have humectants, and if you've worked with humectants in the past, you know that some formulations can be quite sticky. So I recommend that you mist your face first. There are so many different flower-based, like hydrosols, or different flower-based mists that you can look into. Mario Badescu or Badescu, I don't know how to speak Romanian. Uh, he makes a rose water one that's amazing, and it's like $8 at Ulta. I love that stuff. So if you wanna spritz that on your face before applying the pink Sumbi oil, that will mitigate some of the tackiness and make it a little bit more of a pleasant experience to use. But it does smell wonderful and it does have, you will see nice results. And I think that you'll like that one Tulip, so give that one a try, okay? Okay, so this season. So in the season one, Tulip was a unrepentant badass. She was the head bitch in charge, right? But I feel like in season two, she has some post-traumatic stress syndrome. She's very upset with Jesse. She um, is having some problems with, you know, like I said, extraterrestrial, not aliens, but like angels and stuff trying to kill her. 
and she's upset about that thing where he left her in the hotel room. I don't want to give too much away in case you're not completely caught up. You should be, but maybe you're not. Um, and so she is definitely in a weird place. Like by the end of season two, you're like, where is old Tulip? What is she dealing with? But one of the results of that is that she does have some under eye darkness. Now, before I continue, because I do want to talk a little bit about what I want her to use for her under eyes, let me be very clear that those of you with um, natural hereditary under eye dark darkness, there's not a whole lot that you can do to mitigate that. It is caused by blood vessels being close to the surface of your skin, and by that skin already being very thin, it's going to show up more, so those, that's the darkness. And a lot of times, you can your face can cast shadows on that part of your face. And so that's certainly the case for me. And so my dark spots, there's not a whole lot that I can do about them. But that doesn't mean that you can't use products to make it look a little bit healthier, a little bit plumper, and just make you feel a little bit better about those under eye um, circles. Some people will tell you that you can put a retinoid on that skin to make it plumper and thicker um, over time because that is one of the side effects of retinoids is that it thickens the skin, but I can't personally recommend that. I think the idea of putting harsh chemicals on that really delicate skin, to me that just sounds like a problem waiting to happen. But I'm not a doctor, don't know, but I'm not going to try that myself and I'm not going to recommend it to Tulip. Instead, I'm going to recommend that she looks into the Memond Camellia under eye mask. The under eye masks fit very snugly under your eye. You can push them right up to your lashes. Unlike sheet masks, which often have giant holes in them and you don't, they actually doesn't even get anywhere like near these delicate parts of your eye at all. Um, the, the, sheet, the masks will fit right up to your eye and it's going to be wonderful and hydrating. It smells delicious and I think it's going to help with some of the it won't help with the darkness, but it will help with brightening up the skin a little bit if you if used over time. And although that's not the same thing as having no darkness, it's better than nothing, and I think it's going to feel really nice. So I want Tulip to look into that also. In a similar vein, I want Tulip to look into the Lush line of masks, especially the Rosy Cheeks mask. Now, one of the nice things about Lush is that like you could basically just eat all of their products. And when you walk into a Lush store, all of the masks are like the ones that are on display are like on display in a little ice box. And you actually have to go into a little refrigerator to buy the masks because they're super fresh and they will expire quickly if you just leave them out. And one of the reasons I think that Tulip will especially benefit from that is on the show, she eats like a child. Like she's always eating like, uh, like fruity pebbles or something or like pancakes for dinner like she does not eat like a grown-up and I feel like these very foodie very delicious dessert based masks will very much appeal to her in addition to the fact that they are flower based and they're just so lovely on the skin I just love the way that the Lush products feel and how they smell so I think that Tulip will really appreciate that Okay, next, I would be totally remiss if I didn't offer her some sort of hydrating cream. For Tulip, I'm gonna recommend the Rose Deep Hydrating Face Cream by Fresh. Now, some of you might have thought that I was going to recommend the Fresh Rose Mask, but I actually don't like that. Um, I don't like the bits that it has in it. I feel like it's, when I'm putting it on my skin, like it just, it actually kind of grosses me out. So I can't recommend that one, and I don't think that Tulip would like that. So instead, I'm going to recommend the Rose Cream. It's very hydrating, the smell is inoffensive, and I just think that it's, it's right up Tulip's alley, especially because one of the ingredients is angelica leaf extract. And I feel like angelica leaf extract kind of sounds like angels. And I feel like the more that she has in common with the heavenly host, maybe they'll start to leave her the hell alone. Like maybe they won't try to kill her as much. I mean, probably not, but you know, she's hanging out with Jesse. Like she's just trying to stand by her man. And like, Jesse didn't mean to send that kid to hell. Like it was an accident. He didn't really mean go to hell. He doesn't know how to control the voice, the Genesis, the word. And Tulip just kind of got caught up in it. So I want her to use that Angelica leaf extract because I want the angels to give her a break. And I think that's a totally fair request. And I'm standing by that. Okay. The last product that Tulip needs to start using, and I know that you already know what it is, is sunscreen. So the one that I'm gonna recommend is by Murad, and it is the Invisishield SPF 30. So I know what you're thinking. Why am I not recommending SPF 50? Like it's Texas, like the sun does not get any more unforgiving than in Texas. And the truth is, I wish it were SPF 50. I wish the world were a perfect place where you could get a wonderful sunscreen that was that fulfills like all of your needs and all of your wants. But the truth is, black women sometimes have a hard time finding sunscreen that works for us. 
that's the reality and i think that anything that's going to leave a white cast or a lavender sort of weird complexion thing on her face she's not going to use it because the truth is like tulip is very like fly by the seat of your pants you can't tell me what to do blah 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 and if i make her life difficult if i'm like well you can use this sunscreen but it is going to leave a white cast so you need to use this foundation to cover it. like she's not going to have to she's going to be like come on girl like i am not doing all of that like i am not that girl right I know that about Tulip, she knows that about herself. We're not gonna go there. The Murad is a lightweight formulation that doesn't leave any white cast on the face and makeup is gonna apply really beautifully over it if she chooses to wear makeup. So I think that that's gonna be a really good choice for her. Downside is it's kind of expensive. No, it's very expensive. It's like over $60 for sunscreen. I know, good God, for sunscreen, 60 bucks. But here's the thing, Tulip's husband like was super rich, right? Is he dead now? I can't remember. Like, I think he died. Did he die? Didn't he die? Like, I feel like he died. He did die. So does Tulip get the money? Does the daughter get the money? The point is, I feel like there's money to be had and Tulip might not be hurting for cash. So I think she can swing for a $60 sunscreen. That's, uh, that's what I'm betting on anyway, because if, if not, then she can use the Biore like the rest of us peons who can't afford $60 sunscreen. Okay, so I think that's gonna wrap it up for today's skincare with characters. I hope you enjoyed this skincare regimen that I've created for Tulip. And uh, I really enjoy doing this, so I hope that you guys like it too. If you have ideas for characters that you would like me to make a regimen for, please leave me a comment and let me know. I'd be happy to do it. So thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you guys again next time. Have a lovely week, and I'll talk to you later. Bye! I watched you ride up.